Two weeks after breaking the distance medley world best of 919, Charlie Hunter, Cooper Tier, and Cole Hocker lined up again in Arkansas to run the mile. We already knew something special was on the cards because Cole had ran 249 in the 1200 in the DMR and Cooper looked very easy in a 354 to close off the DMR leg. It set off at a brisk pace with the pacer Angus Falmley taking them through the first 209 metres in 29.93 seconds. He then took them through until their opening 609 metres in a time of 1.27.20. From there, 356 miler in himself and also high school sub 4 miler Reed Brown took over the pacing duties and held a consistent pace, taking them through 1,209 metres in 2.54.91, where Charlie Hunter then took the lead. Charlie Hunter kept this strong pace until 250 metres to go, where Cooper Tier put in a surge. Cooper was matched stride for stride by Cole Hocker and they closed the last lap in 27 seconds. This left them with an unbelievable finishing time of 3.50.39 for Cooper, 3.50.55 for Cole and 3.53.49 for Charlie Hunter. This then ranked Cooper 7th on the all-time world list for the indoor mile. Cole was ranked 8th all-time when he's 19 years old and this sadly isn't an under-20 world record because he was born in 2001. And if he ran this race in December, he would have broken the under-20 world record by five seconds. Charlie Hunter ran another national record in this, which beat his previous national record in the previous mile he did in Arkansas a few weeks ago. As you can see from the all-time list, they have joined some running legends with the likes of Yomif Kajelcha, Hicham El Garouz, Edward Cheserak, Bernard Lagat, John Gregorick, Cooper Tier and Cole are ranked 7th and 8th, in front of the likes of Matthew Centuritz, Morselli, who is an Olympic gold medalist and world record holder in the past, Galen Rupp, Nick Willis, Lopez Lemong, Henry Wim, and so many more world-class athletes. And someone who seemed as impressed and shocked as all of us was Ben Crawford, so you can enjoy his reaction to the race now. Oh my lord. Wild. I know, and they opened up in 60. Yeah. No, they were 58. Uh oh. They were 60 through the 409. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I'm not posting this to my YouTube channel. It'll definitely get copyrighted and taken down. <laughs> In like three seconds. Yeah. So I can't do that, but I will. Charlie at uh, five. Holy. All time In for NCAA. <laughs> and he ran a 353. Jeez, dude. How does that translate to outdoors? Uh, I don't know, man. Like <laughs> a little. 348, bit. maybe? <laughs> Someone said watching Cooper and Cole reminds me of watching the Ball Brothers grow from high school to pro. Hey, <laughs> that's kind of di that's disrespectful. These boys are about to be better than that, guys. I might have to break twenty for the next time, Charles. This moment is not about me though. These boys just ran three fifty. It's Kajelcha, Elgarouz, Chez, Coglin, Lagat, Gorick, Cooper, Cole, Centro, Morselli, and Rupp. They all went through uh, fifteen at three thirty five. Someone said so. Hopefully, that was Charlie's. Go so oh. That's it. So Someone said 336.94 was Charlie's split. Yeah. Damn. And Cole Hawker's 19 years old. Yeah, this was history. I really don't even think, like, I don't think any of us are comprehending what just happened. Ben Crawford is now the owner of New Generation Track and Field, which currently sells magazines and t-shirts. The t-shirts are sold out, but if anybody does want a magazine that lives in the US, go to the site and in the description and buy one before they sell out fast. They sold out last time in 30 minutes, so make sure you be quick.